What will an individual learn when they're acquiring the CWICP? The CWICP is similar to the CWAP in the Wi-Fi track, only it covers 10 protocols. <laughs> so CWICP, of course, doesn't go as deep into the 10 protocols as CWAP does to Wi-Fi, but it goes sufficiently deep for your understanding. Now, let me be clear about one thing. We cover 10 total IoT protocols in CWICP, but there's one protocol, 802.15.4 from the IEEE. That protocol is actually the foundation of several of the other protocols we talk about. So we talk about six low pan, we talk about thread, we talk about ISA 100.11a, we talk about wireless heart, and we talk about Zigbee. Those five protocols all use 802.15.4. So we teach 802.15.4 in depth, and then all we have to do for those other five protocols is say, okay, what do they do in addition to what 802.15.4 provides? So it's not as scary as it might sound at first when you hear about 10 protocols. You learn a lot about 802.15.4, then you learn for those other five how they make adjustments to that. Well, that makes up six of the protocols, doesn't it? Then we have some long range protocols. These are protocols that work for several kilometers in distance. And the two primary ones that we cover here are LoRaWAN, that's L-O-R-A, because I'm from West Virginia, so it sounds like I'm saying a woman's name, LoRaWAN and Sigfox. These are two long range protocols that we cover. We do also cover Bluetooth in depth because Bluetooth 5 introduces some communication methods that are great for IoT and also introduces Bluetooth mesh for building a mesh structure. And we also cover Z-Wave. And so there are your 10 total protocols that CWICP covers. And you might think at first, when you're thinking about that certification, how will I even remember just the 10 protocols, much less all the information? Well, the answer is I never one time stopped and memorized the 10 protocols that we use. I just learned and mastered those protocols. And so now I know what the 10 protocols are because I've learned and mastered them all. And it's a lot easier than it sounds, like I said, because you learn 802.15.4, then you learn the five that use it, and then you just have those other four protocols that are also covered, being the Bluetooth protocol, LoRaWAN, Sigfox, and of course, Z-Wave. Now, with all of that knowledge, you're able to troubleshoot a connection problem in the most common IoT networks that are out there today. Uh, and so therefore, CWICP really does prepare you to be a good troubleshooter and even planner for planning a good wireless line.